What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today we're going to be taking a look at some awesome new arrivals and some stuff that's coming soon at Blade HQ. It's been a very long time since I have visited this retailer, at least on the channel, and I know for a fact they have a ton. <laughs> I have an absolute ton of new stuff. There's a bunch of stuff I want to go over. We're going to be going over the new arrivals first, so stuff that is actually at Blade HQ. And then later on towards the end of the video, I'm going to be covering some things that are coming soon that are very, very interesting. Thanks so much to my patrons for supporting me. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you do not want to sit here and listen to me talk, that's perfectly fine and perfectly understandable. I will link these pages right down in the description so that you can go and look on your own. Uh, but if you want to stick around and listen to my dialogue, or my, my me talking, I guess is the way to say that, then uh, yeah, here we go. So let's go ahead and check out the new arrivals page. I am recording this on a Friday, the, the Friday afternoon before you guys are watching it, right? So all this stuff should still be here, I would assume. The new Jack Wolf Knives Cyborg, I've seen that actually at a few different retailers. Looks interesting. What I think looks more interesting is the Jared Oser uh, F22 Kickstop. This is the production version of this knife. I believe that this is based on a custom, unless I am mistaken. Uh, yeah, these are made by, where does it say, Riot, right there. So, 7.875, let's call it, it's basically eight inches, right? You got close to a three and a half inch blade, M390, et cetera, et cetera. A uh, combination of titanium, in this case, carbon fiber. This is my favorite. I think this looks really nice. Almost a perfect uh, combination of modern and classic or modern and traditional. That is a really, really nice streamlined. Oop, nope, I like this one better. Nope, yep, that takes a cake for me. That is really, really nice. So make sure that you guys check those out if they're still available by the time you guys are watching. They do have, of course, full titanium and whole bunch of stuff, whole bunch of different ones, right? Flytanium, uh, titanium backspacers for the AD... 20.5. Nice. There you go. We got a couple there. We got bronze and we got purple, right? AKC Extreme Dandy Tan. <laughs> um, interesting. Is that the new? Hold on. No, that's Black Micarta. The Centros Black Micarta. Let's go back up to the top. Oh, we got a whole bunch more. We got a whole bunch more. Uh, so there you go. Whatever color you like. We also have titanium thumb studs for the ooh. Um, not gonna lie, kind of want uh, kind of want a pair just to dress it up just a little bit. Moving on, <laughs> of course the mini praxis is already out. Of, is it already out of stock or is it still coming? Wow, no way. Okay, uh, yeah. I mean, I'm sure that they'll read the this one is, but the standard version, guys. This is thirty bucks. <laughs> <laughs> this might be my number one recommendation for, you know, a gift to whatever family member or friend for Christmas. I mean, it's it's essentially an it's an everybody knife, right? And for 30 bucks, this might be like the single best Christmas gift, that, knife related Christmas gift that you can get. Uh, if you want to get a fancier Sabibi for yourself, I'm going to recommend the Caché. Wow. I love how this thing looks. I love how it feels. I love how it looks. It's excellent. That white micarta with the diamond pattern. Whoops. 500. Something went wrong. Um, anyways, yeah, yeah. Really, really nice. Definitely the, the cachet. The clavy, eh, not my favorite. A little bit dangerous, right? Um, the big banter. Yes, the big banter is an absolute yes for me. Uh, this is uh, this is such a winner, man. The green micarta looks so cool. Um, I uh, I have the black one. In fact, I had two of them. Um, but uh, yeah, this is such a wonderful user. I'm really glad that Ben decided to uh, you know go ahead and cater to people who like larger knives as well. This is interesting. The red, uh, it's probably a Cerakote on the baby banter. Is it? Red, it just says red drop point. I don't know. I would guess it's a Cerakote Nitro V. That's kind of cool. That's my dedicated travel knife. Works really well. The new Evoke, it's a nice straightforward Laconico design, right? Not a lot of detail in it, but yeah, yeah, there you go. That's a real, I'm going to be, I'm going to be uh, honest. I find the Fox Chillin' F8 
to be insanely ugly, but you know, that is matter of preference. Let's go back up to the top. Olight Javelot Mini. Interesting. Kaiser Swag's Chili Pepper. Look at this. 3V. Uh, this is in my Five Cool Knives episode for this weekend. You guys will see that Sunday afternoon. That's pretty cool. 108 bucks for 3V and it's a button lock. Uh, really like that one. The Gerber Evo Jr. looks curiously like the uh, M16. Am I, uh, am I alone in that? What's going on here? Is it designed by the same? No, okay. A little close to the M16 there. Um, let's move on here. See what else we got. Black Hawk, Hawk Point, Compact Frame Lock, Black G10. It's a lot of, you know, <laughs> ritual spring assisted, 4.37 inches of spring assisted blade if you'd like. There's the uh, all the knife's lander scales. If you guys have picked up the lander, which I recommend that you do, you have a crap load of options for scales. Look how inexpensive they are. Seriously, 18 bucks. That's awesome. Very cool. I would pick up multiple sets. Pick up a lander from uh, from nafs.com uh, and uh, then pick up multiple sets of scales, right? I mean, it's it, it, to me, it's like having multiple na uh, landers in your rotation. They actually have the 229 Ultramar Redemption in stock along with the Liberation. Uh, pick this up. If you guys have been waiting on this, pick it up. It's worth it, right? This is the Collector Series version of the Decca Warncliffe, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, the Counter-Strike Auto. Uh, I have not handled these, but I talked with Levon, and he says that they are excellent. Uh, 20 CV and carbon fiber. These are, of course, made in the United States. They got some extra dressings, extra fixings on them, right? I am particularly interested in this Counter-Strike here. 8.63 inches of Magna Cut for 339 bucks. Um, that looks pretty competitive. Uh, that's, that's pretty interesting there. And you know what? The the K320 there in carbon fiber also looks pretty good. I don't know why it's not taking me back up to the top, top of the page. Much like many other retailers, uh, we saw a flood of Microtech. So if you're looking for a specific, let's say you're looking for a blue and bronze single edge combat troodon, they actually have that here at Blade HQ at the moment. They also have partially serrated uh, Ultratech Sith Lords in stock. Still not sure how Microtech's getting around the copyright issues of that knife, but that's not my problem. Uh, UTX-85 Spartans, a whole bunch of them. Those are super cool. <laughs> Tactical combs. Wow. Uh, let's keep going here. Let's take a look. I knew. I know that there are multiple pages uh, that I have not looked at. Get the grab the uh, grab the runs while you can, guys. The blue sapphire. These are in Magna Cut. CPM Magna Cut, Blue Sapphire DLC. This is striking in person. It is not matte. It is absolutely polished. And this is the textured aluminum. If I was going to pick one of these up, in fact, I'm still tempted to do this. We'll see We'll see how many Gatorades I decide, decide to have later. Whoa, the Devo Stouts at, uh, at Blade HQ. Um, also extremely recommendable. Uh, I really like this knife. This thing is excellent. The only thing I don't like is the pocket clip. This is carbon fiber? I thought it was Raphir Noble. What? Okay. Yeah, in any case though, seriously, this is an awesome knife. If you haven't watched, if you if you need some convincing, watch my review, which should be up. Awesome knife though. They even have one in black. That one's actually pretty sick looking. Um, the, Ger the Gerber Flatiron's still a thing, huh? I feel like that's probably a number one seller at Walmart. Um, let's keep going here. What do we got? What do we got? Do we have original uh, goat or greatest of all time Demco 8020.5 replacement skinny scales? What is the material? Probably aluminum. Yes, it is. But that looks pretty nice. If you are sick and tired of the gravery or gravery, however you want to pronounce it, uh, on your Demco 8020.5. Pick some of these up. I have heard nothing but good things. And I believe, I believe these are USA made. I cannot confirm that, but I think that's the case. I'm sorry if I am mistaken. I love the patterns here. Finally, someone's like, yeah, you know what? We will do a continuous pattern. 
whoever it is behind that company is, uh, in my opinion, very smart. Um, eh, I'm not sure what I think about Leong Ma's other line there. I like his premium line. I'll say that. Kubi Momentum, point this out again. This is a, an unsung hero of the knife world for 50 bucks. You know, yeah, it's all 10. I'm actually kind of surprised. I thought it was something else, but this is a uh, thumb stud um, uh, opener and a front flipper and is a magnificent design for a budget knife. And right beside it, if you'd like to spend $4,643 on a Marfion Custom Halo 3 Mini, um, well, there it is. The blade material, by the way, is premium steel. <laughs> Just say what it is. <laughs> There's the Mini Penguin. I figured that, that that's probably been there for a bit. Pretty cool knife. Also worth picking up. Probably also, you know, another great gift idea for the holiday season. And if you want to pick up... Uh, you know, a larger one for somebody than, you know, the, here's the, the premium ones, but um, I, I'm sure they have the standard ones there too. And not so much into the neck knives. Uh, no, no, no. There's a Kaiser Laredo Bowie there. Um, is this one of the ones in, it's in 4043 for 190 bucks. So there you go. Direct, that's the smaller one. Combat Troodon, Combat Troodon. Here's a weird one right here. I know for certain that there is somebody out there looking for exactly this. This is a very rare color setup for the Combat Troodon. <laughs> it's actually pretty sweet. Uh, I can. If this is still there by the time you guys are watching, I guarantee it's going to be gone immediately. That I, that I almost never. Full Cerakote tan. Uh, that's actually pretty sick. Um, I mean, talk about something that will literally wear perfectly into the environment. Um, I feel like somebody who's military will probably pick this up. Very, actually, this is super, I'm actually really tempted to buy this, even though I would not use it for its intended purpose. I just, I don't think I've ever seen a full tan Cerakote combat troodon. That's really cool. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and move on. We have more Ultratex in every color you can imagine. Holy moly. Oh, that's a custom. Okay. Well, if you want a custom LEDT, they're there. Microtech, when are you going to do more production LEDTs? WTF. <laughs> LMAO. Uh, Cold Steel Formax Scout in various colors. So there you go. I say a lot of the same stuff, don't I? Moving on here. There you go. Uh... <laughs> I should make a t-shirt with all of those weird little, you know, awkward transitional noises. Ultratech Hellhound in blue. That's kind of cool. There's an ultimate custom. Holy crap! $12,000! <laughs> oh my god! That's a down payment on a house. That's a good down payment on a house. Dude! No way. Protech Malibu Warncliffe, uh, Warncliffe Ultimate Custom Shaw and Gray. Okay. To be fair, there is a lot of work in this. Good Lord. Okay. There's a lot of work in it. There's a lot of work in it. And I'll, I'm going to be real. That pattern is gorgeous. Look at that. Can I zoom in more? No. The pattern on that is beautiful. You got to really love the Malibu though. You got to really love it. Handle materials, gemstone, metal, and titanium. 18 karat gold. All right, so they're putting some this they're putting some real stuff in there, right? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> it'll sell. I promise you it'll sell. It might take a while, but it will. Use my links. <laughs> Did I mention to use my links? Because I make commissions when you guys buy things. Boy, I'd love to get a commission on that one. <laughs> Probably unlikely though. Uh, I'm not into these. Um, let's see here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, hey. What the heck is this? Dude. Is this factory? This Zero Tolerance 0562 features the same Rick Hinderer special slicer grind, but on a premium stainless steel blade. This design is lightweight, so blah, blah, blee, blee, blue, blue. Is this factory? Is this factory? What? Uh, 
Zero Tolerance has some of the tightest production, but blah, 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 blah. Uh, I know. If this is factory, I'm buying this. I'm buying this. I don't know what's going on with the freaking Naruto, you know, sort of laser background. I don't know what the heck's going on with there. But I did not expect uh, ZT to drop a special edition S110V. Dude, I will buy that and throw custom scales on it uh, just because it's freaking cool. Wow. Okay, three hundred and fifty bucks. Honestly, I'm not gonna. I'm not, I'm not gonna get upset about that. In S S one ten V. I really wish it was S ninety, but okay. Chavez Sangri, two two nine. Interesting. 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 Ultra Martak. Those are little chunky boys, and they're liner locks, and I kind of like them. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be honest there. Mm, Notches in 3V. Ooh, that's the special boy. Yeah, for $534. Actually, I, I believe that is a very nice knife. Uh, some variations of the Launch 6. Spider Coast Siren. Still tempted by these. Still very tempted by the Warlock. Uh, the full tie Warlocks. If they were in S45 VN, I'd go for it. Just, just to get something a little bit new. Not because I think S45 VN is necessarily universally superior to S35, you know, but I want that spice. Mikov, Leverlettos or Leverlocks, okay. Dawson, Dawson, I don't know anything about that company. Moving on, moving on. Petrified Fish, some new stuff from them for $27.99. Let's take a look at this. The Terra Eight and a quarter inches. Nice looking knife. D2. Micarta. Hey, you know what? 28 bucks. There you go. You're looking for Christmas gifts? Uh, I've handled a, a few things from Petrified Fish now, and I can say that their quality is on point. Damn designs. These are always nice, too. Some more Flitanium stuff for the 940. Eh, I, ought to, I ought to give AKC's folders a try just to see. Oh my God! How is James Brand still peddling this? This is nah. I I I don't. I, I'm I'm not. Uh, I'm not holding back here. This is the biggest joke I have ever seen in the knife world. This the the fact that they want ninety bucks for this is an absolute joke. It is a joke. Um, I uh, I cannot believe that these the, this knife is garbage. Functionally, it's garbage. The materials make no sense uh, for the money. Um, and, you know, they, this is all their stuff is like this. No. Stay away from, uh, from James Brand stuff. Stay away from it. You've got a bajillion better options. And I, I've, I've got a channel with 3,000 uploads if you're new. And I can, I can point you in the right direction. Uh, more Microtex. More Microtex. Lots of Microtex. Don't tell me you couldn't find an Ultratech. This year, <laughs> we have more Medfords. Oh dang! The Barrage Tantus. Is this a special one? Now it's S30V. That was my first bench made, almost exactly, except mine was all black. Penny knives X Series Raptor hanging out there, hiding. If somebody's looking for that one, on page twenty-one. Golly, we're almost on page twenty-two. This is so gross, man. This is just. The only reason you buy this is if you're trying to be ironic and you just have $90 to blow and you don't care. I, I just cannot think of another scenario where that makes any sense. Uh, hey, there's Recon 35s hanging out here on Blade HQ. Did you know that? Number one most recommended USA OTF. Absolutely. Pick one of those Guardian Tacticals up. Come on now, page 23. Can we go to page 23? Apparently we cannot. Nope. We Can we not? <laughs> yeah, they took us right past. Um, eh, some best X stuff. Ontario Blackbird. Petrified Fish Deep Sea Lion. That's kind of a nice looking $53 knife there. K110. So D2. That's Bowler's D2 if you didn't know. Um, which is more commonly known as D2. There you go. <laughs> 8.75 inches. That's a nice looking knife. Petrified Fish is doing some nice stuff there. What is this material? 
Is this Twill? No. No way. Yeah! What? Luxury carbon fiber. I think they put silver twill on that or or gray carbon fiber for freaking $53.99. <laughs> That's, <coughs> excuse me, pretty cool. All right. We Knives did not send me this shaken, and I would have enjoyed that. I also definitely would have enjoyed looking at this freaking weird thing. I really want to see that because I know it transforms into a pokey stabby thing. And I don't know why they didn't uh, send it to me. Extreme Ratio. Uh, people keep bringing up that company to me. And pass. Uh, no, thank you. Let's keep moving on here. I've seen a lot of these wheeze. <laughs> I just said that out loud. Um, I, I don't know. I feel like I'm kind of getting to the point where I've seen pretty much everything that I want to see uh for new arrivals because on page 27 you can hardly call it a new arrival right yeah this is all kind of just stuff that has just remained there let's go real quick and take a look at the coming soon page which doesn't necessarily mean like tomorrow oh wow a new james brand for 370 dollars yeah sure why not let's take a look let's see what they're selling us for 350 bucks they actually got magna cut on this thing where is it made USA? Is it really? Ah, is it really? I want to, I got to see a factory. Maybe that, maybe it is. Listen, okay, listen. Let's say this. If this is actually made in the United States, and I don't mean like piece together here. That doesn't mean made in the USA. Not, not my, in my opinion, it doesn't. Right? It means you create this thing here, right? Um, Magna Cut, it's made here and it's actually done well, if it's actually done well with nice tolerances, then you know what? That's, then that, that price isn't the worst thing I've ever seen. But, you know, still though, still, it's a steel liner with micarta. I mean, I, mean, I can tell you right now, Hogue could do the they they could do the uh, the RSK MK1 G2. Doug Ritter and Hogue could do that knife in Magna Cut. In fact, they did, didn't they? Maybe not, but they could do it for a hundred bucks less. Um. So James Brand once again is like, well, we need a hundred dollars more because we're James Brand. I've never cursed on this channel, at least not in a non-live stream upload but seeing stuff like this really wants me to uh makes me want to let go um i am so so um i i am looking forward to this this looks so freaking cool man m4 oh heck yeah dude this looks awesome this is the most interesting thing that benchmade has done here in a bit and i know it's short that's part of the reason why I'm so interested in it. That thing looks so wicked. Uh, <laughs> I, I can't wait. I can't wait to, to take a look at that. That's that's cool. More pro tech, less George. Um, uh, Dessert Warrior, uh, Blue Sapphire uh, variants are coming, apparently. The auto immunity. One is the auto immunity, one's the full immunity. Are they, are they all just little like that? Yeah. Okay. Ambitious. Well, what the heck is this? Big Idea Designs. Big Idea Designs. TPT Slide Pocket. Okay, if you really like the donut stuff, there you go. Stretch 2 XL in, what is the steel? I forget. Crewware. That's, uh, yeah, the price is really high there, right? Um, the high fin, that reminds me a lot of the, um, the stitch. It's just kind of, you know, it's still doing its own thing, but it looks cool. Hmm. Yeah. Ooh, that's nice. Wee! Wee! Send me one of these! Oh, it's only seven inches, though. Dang it. Man, if they had done a bigger one. I like this. That's cool. Looks like it's got nice ergos. If they had done a bigger one, I'd be all over that. Uh, I'm still going. I'll just do a few pages here. 
What, did it change? Did I miss something? No, nothing that I'm interested in. Something had seen JK. Ooh, ooh, we better take a look at this. What is the material? What? Blood money. Oh, jeez. Why do they have to be so aggressive? Uh, blah, 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 blah. What is the, what is the inlay made out of? Blood money inlay exclusive to Blade HQ is stunningly beautiful in contrast to the black washed handle scales. This is an incredibly unique piece. I mean, I agree. What is it though? What is this material? I want to know. Polymer something. It actually looks like shredded money with blood all over it. <laughs> Maybe I don't want to know what it is. Maybe that's why they don't list it. Pretty cool though. Um, all right. Uh, anything else here? Old SOCOM coming apparently. I don't know how, how Blade HQ gets a hold of that stuff. If they trade with people or what. It's, the page is lagging here so I feel like I'm looking at new things and I actually I'm just looking at the same page. Go to page five. Anything beyond page five on coming soon is a, it's a bit unreliable to gauge like is it actually coming soon, right? Or is it like coming soon in like six months? But I'm still going beyond it. Oh my God. That is not an attractive aesthetic. All right, I think from there, Oh, are those new send cuts? I'm curious to see if there's anything else new from send cut. Okay, there's a new button lock coming from send cut that's going to price out at $47. And more limited edition barrages and more limited edition mini Crooked Rivers. And a Griptilian and M4. Ugh. Is it a mini? No, it's the big one. Tanto as well. Oh boy, I'm glad we just did one more page. Manix 2 in, is this the 15V? Yeah, that one's coming soon. I, who knows? You know. Ultim uh, Kershaw launch models. Okay, that's going to be about it. No way! <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. No way. That's sick. <laughs> Look at the price on that thing. $429. Oh, boy. That'll sell. Look at the individual screws, man. Oh, man. I love how angry this makes people. People are like, shit. Why do you... Stupid. Knives are supposed to be serious. Stop putting sprinkles on them. Gall. Golly. $429 for a donut knife? No way, bro. Uh-uh. All black for me. Desert tan, OD green are all black for me. Huh? -uh. Knives are serious tools. They can't be funny. Okay. <laughs> Meanwhile, this thing sells out because nobody cares. <laughs> oh my God. That's ridiculous. The price on this is ridiculous. This is a ridiculous thing. It's ridiculous, but it's funny, you know? And it th this knife fully encapsulates the insanity that is the enthusiast knife world, you know? And when people say, how best do you describe your hobby? Just show them a picture of this. <laughs> Okay, that's enough. I don't know how long we've been here, but that's enough. Uh, like I said, I'll have links for these pages right down below. Make sure you guys check out Blade HQ. They have so much cool stuff. Uh, I know you're buying knives for yourself and for people that you love this season. So, you know, if you'd use my links, it does support my channel. But like I always say, it's entirely up to you. Uh, thanks so much for watching today. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do of course have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching everybody and have a great day.